to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ryan, would you leave us in prayer? <laughs> Heavenly Father, today we thank you uh, for just being able to come and, and together here and, and to uh, do the business of this organization. Uh, we thank you for the beautiful weather and uh, just the, uh, the fall around us and the reminder of your creation. We ask that you would be with us as an organization, uh, guiding our steps and, and blessing the endeavors that we partake of. Um, we pray that you would be with our speaker today as he comes and, and shares with us uh, some about the ministries uh, that are going on in this community. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take it away. Okay. Grab a song sheet because you're going to need it. Um, this song is to the tune of On Wisconsin. Now you all know that song. Da -da 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 -da. If you've been to a football game, you know that song. So but it has different words, so therefore you're going to need a song sheet. So everybody get one in hand or share one. We're going to sing it once. This is a peppy song, so I don't want any dragging along. So here we go. Roll on rotary, roll on rotary, fight with all your might. Don't let troubles get you down, folks. Everything's all right. We knew he wasn't here mentally, but go ahead and come. <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for praying for our speaker today. He needs all the help you can get. <laughs> Do that when he's your preacher. Alright, rotary question of the day. How much money has been raised by Rotarians to fight polio? A lot. A lot. <laughs> You're like a caveman. If there's more than 10, it's many. Right. More. Yeah, more. 1.6 billion. Now, how many children have been immunized? More than we raised money for. 2.5 billion. We ought to find them all for not knowing anything. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Pass by this young lady up here and give her five dollars before you leave. All right. Who haven't I picked on? I was going to pick on somebody and she said, Don't you pick on me today? Do you know? Yeah, but that was five weeks ago I knew it. Now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get back together, right? Brian, do you know who your rotary best friend is? I do. It's Cassandra. Do you know anything about her? I do. Would you tell us, please? <laughs> she uh, Cassandra likes to hunt, and she has a daughter named Cheyenne who attends West School, and... I'm trying to remember what you said from Bill vacation here. What is she hunting by? Uh, I think you told me you hunt when it was in season, right? Deer and yes, like deer hunting. Yeah. Um, and uh, she works at Centennial Bank. And I don't remember what else we talked about. <laughs> so, well, that's good. Okay, good. Good. Very good. All right. Well done. Now, 
Maybe you can get with him and remember who he is. You can say he's a Presbyterian preacher, and that's enough. Okay. Well, you know, I was standing in the hall at First Methodist Church yesterday morning and just kind of observing, and, and I noticed one of the little guys came in to go to Sunday school, and he had a quarter in his hand. <clears throat> And Justin came out of his office and the little boy was standing there and Justin said, Jimmy, how are you today? Jimmy said, I'm fine, Pastor. What do you got there, Jimmy? And I've got a quarter that my dad gave me to put in the Sunday school offering. And he looked at the quarter and he looked at Justin. He looked at his quarter and he looked at Justin and he handed the quarter to Justin. And Justin said, well, now, wait a minute, you said that was for Sunday school. Why are you giving it to me? He said, well, just before I got out of the car, my dad said you were the poorest preacher he ever knew. <laughs> He'll get me back, you know. I was going to find him for mentioning you and, you know, mentioning that he went to church there and everything, but now he's kind of taken all that down. I guess we can pass on the phone. He's dug his own grave. Yeah, that's true. And, and he'll, he will officiate at the funeral, right? <laughs> all right. Do we have a secretary for the last Well, sure. I show that we have 22 Rotarians here today. And the only guest that I see is we have a couple of Batesville High School students. If you don't mind, stand and introduce yourselves, please. <coughs> uh, my name's Hannah, and I'm from Batesville High School, and I'm in 11th grade. I'm Juan Dina, and I'm in, uh, from Batesville High School, and I'm in 10th grade. Great. Right. Right. Well, welcome. welcome. That's all I have for now. Glad to have you with us. Um, do we have a treasurer's report today? No report. No report. Just pay your bill that he sent out. Um, service chair report. Sure, we do. The dictionary is in. So people who signed up for the dictionary distribution, I've got them at my office. Got a list there. Come by and pick them up. Ready to go. If you're going to help me pass out Southside, let me know what day is best for you. Somebody come in there. We're going to help you. I don't remember who it was now. I'll help you. So, yeah. I, I thought yeah. it was you, but I wasn't sure. So, uh, but just get with me and we'll decide what day is best okay. this week. Try to get pictures this year if you can. If you go, try to take a buddy with you pictures so when you put them on the Facebook page and the website. Sounds good. Uh, thank you for greeting us today, Brenda. We appreciate job. that. You did a great job. You were here early and everything. All right. Uh, Christmas party coming up on December 12th. Mark your calendar. We'll have a board meeting that day at noon. And then that evening, 6.30, will be our Christmas party. Bill Walmsley will be speaking to us. So please come and uh, enjoy. Uh, also, we passed out or sent out the new membership types uh, some time ago. We need this group to ratify that. If you're in favor of adding those membership types, uh, as, as the national level has done and the different states have done and districts have done, uh, has everybody had time to review that? And does anybody have questions? Or are we ready to ratify? The board voted via email, and we got a majority on that. So I move we were ratified. All in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. All right, we've got, as you see, candy coming in for the Christmas parade, uh, animal stuff for the Humane Society this month, so continue to bring the Humane Society stuff and the candy this month uh, for our Christmas parade, and we'll, we'll be ready to roll. Next week's meeting will be uh, Tracy Lane from Lyon College Women's Basketball. We look forward to that. Um, also, I want to remind you on this eve of election, please go vote as a good Rotarian. I won't tell you how to vote, just go vote. Um, and with that being said, Ryan, if you will come and introduce our speaker. Well, Johnny, you said it. But there is a reason why you should never get in an argument with your pastor. 
That's because they're always going to get the last word. <laughs> right, so just remember that. Anyway, I was reminded when Gary was speaking the other day. So anyway, uh, invite Justin to come and speak. Justin Ledbetter is the pastor at the uh, uh, First United Methodist Church uh, downtown on Main Street. And uh, am I right? Down, that is downtown here in Batesville. It was just a little while ago. No. Okay. And he's also the president of the Batesville Area Ministerial uh, Fellowship, or as we call it, BAMP. And so he's going to come and just talk to you today um, about those things and uh, about, I guess, things that we got going on in, in the community and things like that. So anyway, Justin and I have gotten to be uh, uh, pretty good friends through BAMP, spend some time together and sharing together. So um, I like them. I think y'all enjoy listening to them speak today. So Justin, come on up. So. Put a couple of sheets uh, on these tables for you to maybe pass around at your leisure. Um, they're just a little inv inv invitation to the community Thanksgiving service uh, coming up. I appreciate the uh, the honor of the invitation uh, to be here today. Uh, I'll be brief, but want to just mention a, a few things about. Uh, about the life and ministry of the Batesville Area Ministry Fellowship to uh, a couple of things on the calendar and, and uh, certainly to invite you to, uh, to spread the word about our, our annual uh, Thanksgiving service. But, uh, I, I've just been in Batesville now three years. Uh, I'm a native of Arkansas. I was born and raised in Fort Smith and I went to college at Conway at, at Hendricks College. And, to graduate school at the United Methodist Seminary in, in Madison, New Jersey. But, uh, and I've spent most of my uh, adolescent and young adult life uh, in, in Arkansas serving in a variety of churches and ministry capacities in campus ministry and youth ministry and as a pastor in churches uh, now in, in four corners uh, of our state. Uh, but my wife and I, Susan, have one daughter um, and she's in the third grade here in Batesville and uh, we're, we're proud uh, to be uh, pioneers and a part of the, the community here in, in Batesville and in Independence County uh, at large. Uh, as, as Ryan mentioned, uh, uh, the uh, Ministerial Alliance uh, uh, couldn't find uh, anybody uh, to take the job and I think I missed a meeting and, and therefore I uh, woke up as president. And, Ryan is our vice president and president-elect, uh, and I'm sure will will take us to, to heights unseen. But uh, just, just a couple of words about the the Batesville Area Ministry Fellowship, if you don't know, um, the the fellowship has been ongoing really for decades in our community. Um, in recent years, we've gotten a little thinner in our active membership. Uh, at the moment, there are about 35 to 40 uh, active churches, and an average attendance at our monthly lunch meeting is about 25. Um, throughout the course of a calendar year, um, uh, three of the things that are, that are really primary in our in our uh, fellowship are uh, the baccalaureate service for the Batesville High School is coordinated and conducted through the Batesville Area Ministry Fellowship. Uh, the, the music and the message and, and hospitality provided to our graduates and their parents is, a, it is a, an act of service. Uh, that, that the church is uh, organized together. Uh, secondly, uh, ongoing throughout uh, the year, uh, the calendar year in our community and in streets and neighborhoods, uh, the, the Batesville Area Ministry Fellowship, uh, our churches together, uh, work to meet the needs of our neighbors. Not just their spiritual needs in, in worship on a Sunday or a Wednesday or some sort of Bible study or a small group throughout the week, but in meeting real needs, human needs, uh, physical needs. Our churches um, cooperate together with the Help and Hope Food Pantry in Batesville. We also have uh, a direct connection to the North Arkansas uh, Development Council where some of you, I'm sure, probably early voted maybe already at, at 9th and Neely. In, in providing utility assistance to some of our neighbors uh, through, throughout the year. And, and many of our churches also uh, work together in what we call the SURF Fund. Uh, C-E-R-F, it means Community Emergency Relief Fund. And so day to day, week to week, throughout the year, in, in all of our neighborhoods and communities and through our local churches, 
we do our best to, to meet the needs of our neighbors um, in, in providing food and providing utilities. I'll, I will tell on uh, Brother Johnny, uh, he and his brother also have been known to uh, provide quite a bit of gasoline to our neighbors, uh, to our veterans, to people who show up and have no way to get to the doctor between when when an assistance check has come from the government or when the food has come and has come and gone and run out until the next time that they will receive assistance. We often send people to Kent's uh, for fuel assistance simply to get to the doctor or the places that they need to until they're able uh, to, to better care for their own needs. But, uh, these are really the two uh, primary things that, that you might know or see that, that the ministers in our churches together support. Um, Throughout the year in, in the life of your church, if you're a churchgoer, uh, more than likely I would believe that your church uh, helps to support the SURF Fund and, and our ministry to our neighbors in, in utilities and groceries and gas and, and, and medical expenses. Um, we have a program as well uh, for hospital equipment. When people have had surgery or been in the hospital and are prepared to go home, uh, they may or may not have the funds simply even for a wheelchair or a pair of crutches. And uh, ministry was begun about a decade ago called the HELP Program, Hospital Equipment Loan Program. And uh, the um, items are, are warehoused at the life of our church on Main Street, uh, but we facilitate people coming and going from the hospital. Uh, in addition to that, things such as uh, ramps or handrails or things that are needed for a person to be able to get around in their own home are provided generally through the labor of the men's group of our church and, and a few of the others. Um, lastly, but maybe I sh should have mentioned it first, um, is that the community Thanksgiving service is, is really our primary um, way of funding ourselves throughout the year. We have a service the Sunday before Thanksgiving each fall, uh, and a variety of the pastors and uh, music leaders in St. Turn sits around Robin as his baccalaureate in terms of preaching and praying and, and singing and those sorts of things. And we take a love offering uh, in, in order to uh, to try to meet the needs of our neighbors. Uh, that Those are really the primaries. Uh, one of the emerging parts of our ministry together the last couple of years has centered around uh, the needs of homelessness and houselessness, and in particular the needs that arise in the winter months as November gives way to December and through January and February. You probably know and are aware that, that the CEO group and, and others have uh, been engaged in conversation about houselessness and homelessness, but uh, our ministerial alliance is trying really hard to get to a place where, where there will be a uh, place to stay throughout the nights of the week and a warm meal. Uh, in our local churches. We have a, a warm meal provided at nearly uh, every day of the week now at at least one of our churches. And I maybe should have brought a flyer, flyer but you can send them on email or so forth um, in terms of the warm meal being available each day of the week in, in our churches throughout town. But uh, that's really the long and the short of it. Um, we're a group of preachers who get together and try to talk for less than one hour and, and get out on time, amen, or early. And that includes eating. Yeah, hopefully you'll remember that we got out at 20 till today. <laughs> I want somebody rings a bell in a minute. But, uh, I, I want to just say, uh, before I step down, I, I really am grateful for, for the service organizations uh, of the communities that, that are such a vital part of life as our Kansas, and, and that includes you. Um, I've been a guest at, at your dinner a time or two. Uh, I, I see the candy and the dog food. I, you know, I understand that everybody's busy, and I know that you are. I mean, I know the college is busy, and I know the bank is busy, and I, I'm really appreciative uh, of the, the gift of your time. Uh, everybody can make more money, but you'll never make any more time. Uh, and choosing to invest your time week to week and season to season in, in your club and in this community is meaningful. Uh, it's meaningful. And and I'm grateful uh, for what you do, for the things that you do. I didn't even know about the dictionary. I saw the sign up for that. I didn't know that that was one of the arms of the Rotary Club. But uh, I'm grateful to, to you all for the investment that you make uh, in, in this community where we all live together. And I wish uh, God's blessing upon you. I'll tell you my joke. It should have been first, and then I'll be through. Uh, two parts. The first part is, how does Halloween end and Thanksgiving begin? 
Anybody know? With an N and a T. <laughs> second joke. You know, I, like to tell, Johnny I tell about a third grade level joke because I <laughs> primarily live with a third grader, you know, in my house, and I probably function about second grade level. The second joke is somewhat similar. Do you know what the turkey said to the hunter just before Thanksgiving? Quack, quack. <laughs> Again, I, I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be with you, and, and I, I do truly want to say the things that you do, the dollars that you give, the time that you spend in this community are important. Uh, they're important. The investments you make in young people, the, the things that you're doing make a difference, uh, and don't doubt that. Thank you, Justin. I'll uh, put a plug in for the Ministerial Alliance. Yeah. I, I, I personally don't want to be involved in a church that's not part of that because they do outreach together and it bands the churches together to do more in the community than just an individual hanging out on their own. So um, I do appreciate what you guys do very much. Um, we have a couple things that Amanda needs to do. I know she's going to draw my name for this Joker draw. I'm sure of it. Take it away. Barrett, do you have any tickets bought? No. Well, that's why I asked you. All right, red ticket. Red ticket. Red ticket. Eight, seven, four, two, four, four. Oh. <laughs> Surely we can turn off. Where's the, where's the, hey, let's stop.